If Fortnite feels laggy or your FPS just isn't cutting it on GeForce Now, don't worry, this guide has you covered. Whether you're on the free plan or the ultimate tier, I'll walk you through the best possible settings to boost your FPS, reduce input lag, and make your gameplay buttery smooth. Since I'm currently using the free plan on GeForce Now, I'm limited to some basic settings, but don't worry. In this guide, I'll walk you through the most optimized settings for Fortnite, including those only available with the ultimate plan. So even if you're on the highest tier, you'll be able to apply every tweak I explain here to achieve the best FPS and lowest input latency possible. Let's start with a simple one. Disable the network status overlay. While it can be useful for diagnostics, it often becomes distracting and might even trick your eyes into perceiving stutter or lag because of all the unnecessary data on screen. Also, make sure your Epic Games account is linked to GeForce Now. This helps skip the login process every time you start Fortnite, which is especially helpful on the free plan, where queue times already slow things down. Now, when it comes to server selection, always keep it on auto. GeForce Now uses intelligent algorithms to automatically connect you to the fastest data center based on your region and current network conditions. Manually picking a server might sound like a good idea, but it can actually cause higher ping and more input delay if you're not selecting the optimal one. Next up, streaming quality is the key area that affects both visual fidelity and performance. Here's how to set it based on your internet speed. If your download speed is between 25 to 50 Mbps, go with 720p resolution and set the streaming bitrate to around 15 Mbps. This offers a good balance with smooth gameplay and no buffering or sudden lag spikes. If you're on a 50-50 to 100 to 100 Mbps connection, 1080p becomes much more stable. You can safely increase both the bitrate and FPS. If your membership supports it, go for 120 Fps. I can't access these on the free plan, but for Ultimate users, this makes a huge difference in games like Fortnite. Still, even 60 FPS gives a responsive, fluid experience. For those with over 100 AEPPS, you're in a great position. You can enable 1080p at 240 FPS, but keep in mind, this only works on the Ultimate plan, and if you have a high refresh rate monitor. The visual clarity at this level is unmatched, especially for fast action titles like Fortnite, Apex Legends, or Valorant. Moving on to advanced settings, V-Sync. This depends on your monitor and preference. I usually keep it off to reduce input delay, but if you have 120 Hertz or 144 Hz display, turning it on might help with smoother frame pacing. Try toggling it both ways to see what works better for you. NVIDIA Reflex. Always keep this enabled. It's designed to reduce input latency by synchronizing frame rendering with your actions. A must for any competitive Fortnite player. HDR, disable this. It doesn't improve FPS and it can cause weird brightness shifts or drop visual consistency mid-game. Resolution upscaling, set this to standard. While enhanced may sound better, it barely improves visuals and adds more processing overhead, which can result in occasional stutter. Finally, let's talk about the frame rate cap. You want to set this as high as your plan and monitor it as much as you can. On Ultimate, you can go all the way up to 240 FPS at 1080p. Since I'm on the free plan, I don't have access to that, but if you do, definitely max it out. For best results, some players prefer capping FPS just below the maximum to reduce jitter. You can also set a bitrate cap of 30 Mbps for better consistency if you're experiencing unstable performance. These are the most effective GeForce Now settings for Fortnite if you're aiming for smooth gameplay and top tier performance. Even if you're on the free tier like me, these tweaks will give you the cleanest experience possible. And if you're on Ultimate, you'll unlock the platform's full potential for low latency, high FPS Fortnite sessions. If you're ready to take your Fortnite optimization to the next level, now's the perfect time to download the Ultimate Fortnite FPS Boost Pack. This custom pack is designed to further fine tune your Windows system beyond just GeForce settings, helping you achieve smoother gameplay, faster system responsiveness, and a much more stable FPS in Fortnite. 
You can download it directly from my official website. Just check the link in the description below. And don't worry, it's completely safe. You can run it through any trusted antivirus software or online scanner of your choice. It's 100% clean, secure, and free from any harmful components. Let's begin with the MSI Utility Tool, one of the key components of the Boost Pack. After downloading it, right-click the tool and select Run as Administrator to make sure it has full system access. Once opened, the tool will display all the devices on your system that support MSI, Message Signaled Interrupts. Start by locating your network adapter and set its priority to high to help improve network stability and reduce in-game latency. Then find your GPU in the list and also set it to high priority to boost rendering performance. After selecting the devices, check the boxes to enable MSI mode, then click Apply to save your changes. Make sure to restart your system to finalize the optimization. This tweak is especially effective for reducing lag spikes and making your overall gameplay smoother. As with any system modification, it's always smart to create a backup beforehand. Next, install Memreduct, a lightweight tool that helps you manage memory usage more efficiently. Once installed, open the program to view your current RAM usage in real time. At the bottom of the window, click the Clear Memory button. This instantly frees up unused system memory, which can be especially helpful when your RAM is being overused by background applications. You can click Clear Memory multiple times during your gaming sessions to release even more memory, ensuring that Fortnite and other demanding tasks have access to as much RAM as possible. No restart is required and no complicated setup, just clean, instant performance improvement at the press of a button. To fully unlock your CPU's performance, you'll be using Park Control, a powerful tool created by Bitsum. After installing Park Control, launch the application and select the Bitsum Highest Performance Power Plan from the drop-down menu. Then disable all the CPU parking and frequency scaling options, including parking AC, parking DC, frequency scaling AC, and frequency DC, and make sure each one is set to 100%. This forces your CPU to stay fully active, ensuring it's always delivering the power needed for high-performance tasks like gaming. Then, Turn on Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This setting intelligently manages your CPU threads, deactivating unused ones during light tasks and fully enabling them during intense gaming sessions. Finally, navigate to your power options, select the same Bitsum highest performance plan, and make it the active profile. Double check that every slider is set to maximum for consistent peak CPU performance. Once done, hit apply and you're good to go. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the Boost button, and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this guide useful, drop a like and subscribe for more optimization tips. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, stay sharp and game on.